strikes for a song, if you're like me, you want to get to the bottom of it as quickly as possible and you don't want to do the same stuff all over again. So today we are going to create a startup template and also we are going to set up keyboard shortcuts so that everything responds at the touch of our fingertips. Sounds good? Let's go. See that? An empty Q tractor session. That's very depressing. I mean, I want to get to my song quickly, boom, boom, boom. And no, I have to do it all over again. Create a track, put instruments in it like a sound phone player and tell him for the umpteenth time, where is that sound phone that I like? And put effects, put buses, everything that I need to create a new song. This is bullshit. So today, we are going to create a template to automate all that. When we do a control N, we want a kick track with effects and instruments in it. We want to be able to create a, a MIDI clip and get to the song right now. All right, we want a hi-hat track, a kick track and a snare track each time we start a song. So let's do that. This is the hi-hat. This is the kick track. MIDI, fancy optional eye candy icon. All right, I don't want to do that over again. I will not ever. So about the instrument, open the mixer and basically do what we did in the first video. Load the calf fluid synth. Set up defaults. This is going to stay like this. Go ahead and fetch for the last time this sound font that we always need, at least at the startup of our song, MIDI channel one, first menu, standard drum kit. All right, this is the same one. All right, same defaults, same sound font. Okay, MIDI channel two, second menu. Boom, boom. All right, and the snare, well, in fact, we don't want to use the Q full sound for the snare. We want it, all right, I'm gonna just change the MIDI channel. See what I mean? Up. Standard. One, all right, no reverb, no chorus. And for the kick, we are going to use our trusty drum synth from the invaluable distro project. Sorry about that. Drum synth. Okay. This is our kick. Remember in the first episode when we put a limiter on the master bus to protect our speakers and our ears and the cosmic equilibrium altogether? Well, we have put it in our default startup template too. In the second episode, you remember we added reverbs like this. Let's say with these settings 
and we copied and pasted it all over our tracks. This is preposterous, because if it is the same reverb, why not use exactly that, the same reverb, one instance of the Calf Reverb plugin that will ensure consistency among all the reverberate tracks, but also get easier on the computer because the machine will only have to take care of one plugin instance. Okay, so for that we need a special kind of track which is called a bus and can have as many inputs as we like and we can put effects in those. Let's create our bus right now. Double click on the master bus. Edit it. We are going to modify that one and copy it on the fly. So we need a two channel bus. Just create it and you have your reverb bus. Let's put our reverb plugging in it. And now this is our command reverb bus. No, whenever we need reverb on a track, we just have to copy this little control over and that's it. Can you hear it? Pump in on your stereo. Can you hear it pumping on your stereo? Can you hear it pumping on your stereo? Can you hear it pumping on your stereo? All right, this is it. This is what we want to see each time we start up a new song by clicking Control N. This is the basis of all our new upcoming session. Uh, Hi-hat track, a kick track, a snare track with instruments and sound fonts already loaded in it and presets already set and a common reverb bus that we can send every track signal we want to. Let's say that. But this time as a template that QTT and just tell QTractor that this is this file that you want to load from now on. And now new session and that's it. We have our tracks ready to go. From no one, a new song is just a matter of grabbing your best sounding guitar and file new. You are in the starting blocks and then when you hit C to create your first note, tell QTractor where your session directories are stored and just type in the name of the song you want to record. QTractor will create the directory on the fly. That guitar lick from the start. That guitar lick from the start of the video. Let's record it now. 